as heavy fighting rages in downtown Misrata, many residents have fled from the tank and artillery shells raining down on their neighborhoods. But they have nowhere to run. The opposition-held city of Misrata is encircled by pro-Gaddafi troops. Masood El Masoudi says he barely managed to get his family out of the city center and into the school on the outskirts. All the houses next to ours were knocked down in the fighting, he says. People were killed in the houses right next to ours, including women and children. Constant barrages of artillery, tank and mortar fire have clearly traumatized especially the children. And as urban combat destroys more and more of downtown Misrata, many foreigners who came here to work during better times are now stranded. Some were hoping to leave via Misrata port, but they can't get out. So they've ended up here, at a makeshift refugee camp near the port. It was set up when the fighting started and now stretches for several miles. All along the road leading to Misrata port, you find thousands of refugees, most of them from African countries, and they're stuck here, they're stranded here. They can't get anywhere. The worst thing about it is, first of all, all the refugee camps are makeshift. They have basically no food, no water that they're getting from the international community. What they're getting, they're getting from the people of Misrata, and they're right in the middle of the combat zone. They gave us this piece of shrapnel. They say artillery shells fell right near the area where the refugees are. Ibrahim Prince Mohammed from Ghana says he and many others have been staying under the tarpaulins for more than a month where you live. and feel abandoned by their governments. Want to go to Ghana simply because anybody, anybody will not be comfortable to when he hear gunshot and uh, uh, shouting all over the the, uh, the the city that we want to we want people are dying people are dying. We are not comfortable, we want to leave. So we need help from UN. Cries for help have so far gone unheard as the situation of those caught here gets worse every day. While Misrata remains under siege, food, water and medical supplies are further depleted and desperation grows. Fred Pleiken, CNN, Misrata, Libya.